All right, you guys. Moment of truth, part two, another one. Yes, again, I'm going to cut my hair. basically if you guys watched my last video of me cutting my hair I cut the front area and like fringe bangs or like fringe layers to front my face but the rest of my hair is not cut at all so if you guys saw me where I straightened my hair back in November my hair is fairly even and I cut my hair myself last time too so if you saw my big chop video you would know that I did the technique where I had my hair wet I combed it to the top of my head in a ponytail and kind of just made like a guide of where I wanted to cut it now I know I made a poll on Instagram and I was like oh my gosh like should I should I not and a lot of you were like no but I think you guys were saying no because you're thinking that I'm gonna like cut all my hair off again like do that same big chop that I did would I ever go that short again hmm, maybe but not anytime soon so all I really wanted to do was just add some layers or just some shape back into my hair. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to shampoo my hair and let you guys see how it looks completely bare. Cut it and then I'm going to do the Afro-G Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor Treatment. So basically I've been reading a lot about this and you guys know I've done the Afro-G 2 Minute uh, Protein Treatment before. This is like a lighter version of that. You know, I just feel like the protein treatment was very like strong and I don't necessarily need that but you know I just want to like give my hair a lot of TLC especially that I'm about to cut it so instead of me trimming my hair I'm basically just gonna I might as well just you know cut it and shape it because that's basically the hair that's gonna be cut off if I trimmed it so that's the whole plan um so i definitely want to try this to show you guys the results on my hair and see how it worked for me what i'm hoping to get out of this is um softness um i just feel like i'll be able to feel a difference and i don't know i don't know if i'll be able to see a difference but i feel like i'll be able to feel a difference if that makes sense just from the texture um and just how my ends will end up feeling because i really do need a trim the last time i gave myself a trim was maybe november when i did straighten my hair so Without further ado, let's go wash this bad boy. Alright you guys, so this is my hair freshly shampooed. I wanted to make sure my hair was clean of everything just to give this keratin treatment the best possible and fair way to see if it works. So after I do this, my hair is still soaking wet and I did go ahead and detangle in the shower with this uh, paddle brush that you guys see. I have my shears and my rubber bands ready to go. So basically how I explained it was I like to comb my hair to the front and when I say front I mean the very top as well. So I want to get that part out of my hair and that's basically how I just wash my hair. I wash my hair in like two sections but yeah so I'm brushing that at the top and it was kind of tangled only because I had detangled it in a certain way if that makes sense. So as I'm coming through, it does kind of dry up fast. So I'm going to re-wet it and wetting it helps me get it as smooth as possible. So as I'm combing all the hair to the front, the thing about this method is you're not going to really be cutting off much length simply because the front isn't going to get cut the most. It's really the back, if that makes sense. So I'm going to tie my hair in ponytail. And of course that one broke <laughs> so I take a headband and I use that as my ponytail holder I'm gonna tie it very taut you want to make sure it's as taut as possible because you don't want it to slip as you are cutting the hair so I take my spray bottle again re-wet it and comb it through one more time just to make sure I get all the hairs gathered into that ponytail so if you see some of that hair falling out that is the front layer that i cut previously like a month ago that is not going to get cut and the second rubber band is basically your guide so i am not going to cut too much off like i said you want to start with a little bit before you cut off too much because once you cut it that's it you can't go back so i decided to cut off this much it seems like a lot but i promise you it's not so boom there goes the hair and then i wanted to comb through it one more time just to make sure if you know any strands were missed 
it will get cut off the second go round. Same thing, tie the little guide, slide it down, and cut. And right here, I decided to cut off like just that much more, like literally not that much more. And I would not recommend this if you feel scared, like I said in all my previous videos of me cutting my hair. I am not a professional. I'm always cutting and experimenting with my hair because my hair tends to go back fast anyway. It's literally just hair. So I do go back in and kind of cut into the hair. But other than that, that is pretty much all I do. Now, I might end up cutting more, but I don't know. I kind of want to just see how this goes. And that is basically it as far as me cutting the hair. And to show you guys how it looks. It's not going to be super accurate right now because, you know, I combed it out and everything. But it just kind of adds a little bit more shape into the hair. And as you can see, it's still lengthy. And now we're going to move on to the keratin treatment. I picked this up at the beauty supply store. And I believe it was only $6.99. Yes, only $6.99. I got the Affluence, uh, Fluence ounce bottle. And this is supposed to be a lighter version of that uh, Alpha G 2-step protein treatment. So I wanted to give this a try because you know what? I really, really want to continue to make sure that I'm giving my hair the maximum TLC because I want to be able to master wash and go pretty soon. And just have overall healthy hair. And one thing I read about this is it's really good for people who have hard water. I'm in college and I'm in the state of Florida and I just feel like my hair acts differently when I come back to school and start washing my hair because when I go home, my curls act totally different. So I'm convinced that where I am, I just have hard water. So this will like really help with that. And just me having low porosity hair, this would be probably like really good as far as me being able to, uh, you know, keep my hair moisturized as possible. So I'm using two shower caps one plastic cap and one shower cap on top of that i left it in my hair for about 10 minutes instead of two minutes because i really really wanted this to lay in my hair and these are the results you guys that one little area in the front of my hair is my trouble area that is what i'm trying to get back you know popping it's going to take some time but other than that the rest of my hair reacted really really well to it i'm just surprised at how defined my hair is without any product on it after washing this product out so i'm very pleased with this i will be giving you guys more updates on this i'm going to try to use this once a month or like every two weeks and just see how i go um from there so yeah stay tuned for part two of this video where i deep condition my hair to see if my hair reacts even uh differently to the deep conditioner but yeah that is basically it talk to you guys later bye